Hi Cancer, it's L here to do a quick reading for you. So the top spread is um, is in regards to love and romance. And the bottom spread is in regards to career and finance. Um, so Cancer, it looks like in regards to your relationship right now where it is, you're making a choice. You, you've weighed your options or yeah, you've weighed your options here. And you're trying to make the best, uh, the more healthy choice for you. And it seems like some relationship, some new relationship that has come into your life, not, not relationship that's coming to your life, but new person that has come into your life that maybe you or starting a relationship with um, they bring a lot of balance and um, mental clarity and peace um, there's a lot of positivity with them uh, you feel like you feel at home with this person you feel like you are in a good space You've definitely made the choice to put this person above maybe all others because of how balanced and fair the nature of the relationship is. Either of you could be on either side of the giving and the taking. It, it, it balances out. It's... um. It's reciprocity here. And even if there are problems that arise in the relationship, you guys are able to peacefully come to uh, some resolution. You, you're able to talk to this person about almost anything. You feel like this is just a healthy relationship. It fits in your life. Um, and that's where you are. The advice for you, Cancer, is for you to determine the area in which in this love affair where you are lacking or you're not giving as much or, or you are shutting out or, or closing away some aspect of of getting to know this person, of letting them in, of, um, of them knowing you or you giving maybe more time or energy, more, more love. There's something here for you to isolate the issue and then learn how you can grow from whatever the situation may be and learn how you can you can uh, grow the relationship into it or that aspect of the relationship into an even healthier um you know balance there or healthier give and take uh, um some some um Reciprocity. It's asking you to wherever you have, whatever you have isolated about yourself, wherever you have the 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 yellow caution tape on some aspect of your personality, of yeah, of your character. You don't want that person to see or if it's that you aren't giving in some area of of emotional, you know, um, the emotional exchange or time or money, wherever you are lacking, the cards are asking you to. To realize and recognize that 
and then change it um be more fruitful grow it grow it into a better situation okay because if you take the advice of the cards you have the nine of pentacles and it says that you'll be ready for um you'll be ready for partnership you'll be ready to take the next level or the next phase of your life and possibly share it with this person or a significant person if you feel like you're lacking in resource do what you need to do to grow it isolate the issue and fix it is what spirit is saying because it's going to just put you in a better more fruitful place ready for love ready for emotional investment so cancer um the cards are asking you to uh just get ready for this relationship to go to the next level when you are are uh, at a place where you feel ready and abundant and if it's because some of you may be homeless or without something um it says work on that isolate that issue and turn it around because you can become abundant and uh, ready for that uh tenth pentacle that ten of pentacles okay so um relation relationships look good but it's just about um doing some self work doing work on yourself boosting your own self-esteem by working on yourself okay so in general the ge the general read for you and then this could be in career and finance or in you know family dynamic relationships whatever um so the situation may be that you own your own business or that you you have a lot of things that you've created or, or money making businesses or things that you do you, you you have your hand in several different pots to where um you don't do a lot for money you don't do a lot to bring it in it just kind of you know returns itself back to you there's a return on the investment right um and some of you could be dealing with an aries and that person could be like that um this could be your boss this could be the owner of the company or you could be just those things um some of you could be in school and it's saying that you need to be more like this you need to have more structure, more logic, um, more discipline about yourself because uh, there might this might be the grooming process for you to then in turn come into some leadership role. Some of you are saying that you're, you're good financially or career wise or whatever, but you're expecting the worst. There's some self-fulfilling prophecies some negative self-fulfilling prophecies prophets prophecies <laughs> um that could possibly manifest if you continue to give energy time effort to these thoughts to even talking about them and speaking on them um you need to replace the thought with something better or something positive um that is the advice here you've done a lot you you are at a very good place in life financially all of the above but you're expecting the worst in the things that you have created created for yourself but it says that even in the midst of what you may deem as turmoil or destruction you're still going to get notoriety uh recognition for doing some high level some quality work for your part you played in this if it's teamwork or if you're in school and you have a group project 
you're definitely going to be a team player and you're going to get recognition for your creativity you putting in that that hard work it says that whatever it is you're doing if it's in regards to family or if it's an emotional investment or situation here you things are going to turn out well for you they're going to be trustworthy relationships that you are going to establish here um some of you are concerned about what you're building in your business with another person something of that sort but it says there's no need to worry once you get this recognition if you take the advice of the cards stop thinking negatively um you're going to be at the highest level of happiness you're going to get recognition you're going to get more patronage people are going to seek out your your guidance your help in terms of um maybe business career finance um so it's asking you to stay positive in your mental it starts there that's the that's the magician he has the idea right you are what a man is what he so think of something like that don't quote me um so think only positive things act on the positive act in the positive even if there are negative things combating you negative people some situation falls apart um someone does or says something you don't like or you don't care for um there's a delay in whatever don't heap or harp on that mentally um start to think positive okay there's a delay because they want to make sure it's the right offer the right whatever or um that person says something negative they may have something going on in their life i'm just gonna you know wish them well thoughts i'm gonna pray for them whatever you've got to turn you got to be the spin artist right now because it's saying that you're able to create whatever it is you think of so make sure you're thinking positively okay uh cancer i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the phone readings that are on sale right now 50 percent off go uh text not text sorry email the email address below ask for the 50 percent off coupon code you can also text the number below a question or two uh that you have to that you want answered by the tarot if you have a question um you can text it to that number each question is five dollars take advantage of that um you can pay for your question all on your mobile device and receive the answer on your mobile device i hope that you all are well and safe take care bye